back to my channel everybody and welcome if you're new here today is going to be a what eat in a day slash how I try to get back on track honestly with everything going on right now I'm having a hard time focusing and finding that motivation journeys will always have their ups and downs no matter what if somebody tells you that losing weight is easy it really isn't like easy um, there's certain aspects that are easy yes but um, it's hard, it's hard work, it takes dedication, and I'm just looking for that motivation and dedication again. But anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing and we're gonna get right into this day of eating. Hey guys, we are making breakfast. First, I'm gonna make my coffee. I am doing that um, TikTok trend where you like whip. Um, we have a tablespoon of instant coffee, a tablespoon of stevia, um, and then a tablespoon of warm water and you whip it for like five minutes and it makes like a froth. And shout out to Natalia. Um, I watched her video yesterday and she reminded me of this. So anyways, I'm going to whip it for five minutes and hopefully it comes out yesterday. It didn't really come out like super frothy, but I think I just need to whip it more. So here we go. All right, so that literally took me a good five minutes. Um, I don't know if it's going to get any like thicker or frothier, so I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so I'm going to add one point's worth of unsweetened creamy cashew milk. Um, it is zero points for half a cup, but I like to use a bit more. I also have ice in there if you didn't see that. So next I'm going to add some coffee creamer. I have this vanilla toffee caramel or caramel, however you pronounce it, creamer. One tablespoon is two points, but I'm just going to do half a tablespoon. I find that that's enough. Um, if I had extra points in the day, I probably would use a full tablespoon, but sometimes I'm just a little stingy on my points. Um, next time I go down, I'm going to try the Cinnabon one because that would be delicious in this. And finally, we're going to add in our like froth, whatever you want to call this. This might be a struggle to get in. One sec. Ooh, that looks so good. It makes a lot. Like I feel like this could be good for like two drinks but all right so we're gonna do a peanut butter and jelly rice cake my lighting sucks and I'm trying to figure out a way to have better lighting um, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this PB and me peanut butter powder my tablespoons dirty so I'm just kind of estimating usually I'm pretty good at estimating and then I'm gonna grab some water. Um, I like to do just under two tablespoons because I like my peanut butter just a bit thicker. Okay, we'll try this first. I think I need more water, maybe not. Mm, yeah, I'll bring it back. I actually think I probably could have added a bit more powder. I don't think there's, I don't think I put two tablespoons in, so obviously I'm not that good at guesstimating, but that's okay. This will be enough for one rice cake. So I'm just using an original um, crispy mini rice cake. I add my peanut butter right on top of that. Then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of my sugar-free uh, red raspberry preserves. I get this from the States. Um, one tablespoon is zero points, so I only add a tablespoon. Let's just eyeball it again, hopefully it's correct. <laughs> and I'm just gonna spread that all on top. There is breakfast, this is gonna be delicious. Um, so point breakdown for this, one point for the rice cake, one point for the peanut butter powder, zero for the sugar-free jam. So this is only two points. This here, one point for the unsweetened cashew milk, zero for like the froth mixture, and then one point for half a tablespoon of the coffee creamer. So this is only two points. So this is only a four point breakfast. I cannot wait to dig in. All right guys, I am just getting ready to do a workout, but I thought I would show you guys my loose skin. I'm not gonna get into depth about it or do like a whole long video um, because I wanna do a separate video for this. So um, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. Um, I've lost 70 pounds now because I have gained a bit. Um, unfortunately, I was much more toned about seven months ago, um, so I didn't have as much loose skin but now um, I have a bit more, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys. Um, I'm being very vulnerable about this, and I know there's gonna be positive and negative feedback, but you know what? 
it's my story, my journey, so I figured I'd share with you guys because you may be able to relate to this. This is me with pants. I like blend in, so it's going to be hard to see, but anyways, um, like I said, my stomach was much flatter. Um, I didn't have, like, a lot of this because it was toned when I was working out, um, but now that I've stopped, it's come back, and then, like, my back here was much better. I have posted pictures on social media and I've gotten a lot of questions about this. This is not a scar. I've not had surgery. It's just the way my loose skin um, formed. But anyways, let's, you know, show you the rest. So here it is. Like I said, this is weird for me, but I'm showing you. Um, this is all my loose skin. I have like I used to have three rolls, and now I have like one and two. Um, yeah, so this is the side. That's the front. That's the other side. And like when I bend over, you can see like it all hang, it's all there. And then you can also see like that little indent. It's hard to see but um, you can see that it just like, there's like a crease. It's weird, but um, that's how my loose skin is. Like, it's there. This is what losing 70 pounds does. Like, if it wasn't there, I'd be much smaller, but that's okay. You know, that's what happens when you lose weight, so. And then I also have loose skin on my arms. You know, I showed you guys. It's there, and then like, in the video that I'm gonna post about my loose skin and talking more about it, um, I'll show you guys like my, my loose skin on my legs, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, we are gonna get into the workout. I will film myself. I'm gonna do 20 minutes of cardio. I'm gonna do like dance cardio. Um, I'm not a good dancer, so don't judge. And um, my underwear is showing. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna do some weights and floor work. So let's get right into it. calories according to this um, it was a good workout I actually did like almost half an hour of cardio and if you guys saw me switching off my knees to my butt and some of the exercises it was because my knees get really sore so I just made sure I kept my form I'm by no means like a personal trainer um, I know my form may be off but I'm trying and that's all that matters I'm gonna try and you know improve my form as I um, work back into things. So um, I got my workout in today and I am happy. All right guys, so please excuse the mess of my hair, um, but I wanna quickly come on here and do a taste test because I just got the new Built Bar flavors in. Um, this is gonna be like a pre-snack to lunch because um, I haven't cooked lunch yet and it's gonna take me a little bit, so I figured I would just Taste test these, have a little snack before lunch, um, and let you guys know what I think. So I'm gonna take like a bite of each, and yeah, my husband's gonna taste it, but he won't taste it on camera. Um, he'll just let us know what he thinks. 
I never said that. Yeah, you're going to though. I'm gonna try caramel brownie first. I don't know if you guys remember when Built Bar came out with their built burners. Um, they came out with them and then like quickly discontinued them because they didn't have very good feedback. Um, but they had the, oops, the caramel brownie um, in the built burners. So um, I kind of already know what this tastes like, but it will be a little bit different in texture and things. So um, this one's three points. Mm. It's not bad. I don't really even like the caramel normal built bar, so I think maybe that's why I'm I'm not really liking this one. Um I don't know. You want the rest? <laughs> he obviously likes it. Um I feel like the normal caramel one to me tastes artificial, and that's kind of what I'm getting at in that bar. But we're gonna try We'll try the cookie dough one. This one's covered in milk chocolate. Um, this one is three points as well. I taste a little bit of cookie dough in there. I don't mind this one. I don't know if I'd buy it again. Like I'm getting cookie dough, but I'm not at the same time. I don't know. If I were to choose between the um, cookie dough and the peanut butter, what I keep seeing peanut butter brownie, the caramel brownie, I would buy the cookie dough again. Um, and then I want to try the uh, Samoa Bundt Cake. I'm excited for this one because there's coconut in it. This one is four points. This one's not bad. I like it because it has coconut in it. Here, that's the last one. I honestly don't know if I'd buy these flavors again. I mean, they're okay. I'd buy probably this one out of all three of them. Um, I just feel like maybe Built Bar needs to stick with their normal flavors. Um, and maybe launch like one or two. Um, I feel like they're launching too much, which is fine. A lot of people like them, but I like the originals the best. I like the peanut butter brownie, the original peanut butter and coconut almond is like my favorite. These last two flavor launches, I'm not a really big fan of. Verdict is I'm probably just gonna stick with original flavors. If there's something that they come out with that like I really wanna try, I'll try. But I don't know, like I said, I think they just need to stick with their flavors that they have. I count all that taste testing as three points, so that'll bring me to seven points for the day. I'm probably just gonna have like a six or seven point lunch, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower and then we'll see you guys when I eat next. Hey guys, it is lunchtime and I'm gonna show you what I'm having, but I think I'm gonna take off my glasses. Yep, yeah, we're gonna take them off because there's a bad glare there. But anyways, um, right now I don't have as many fruits and vegetables um, in my fridge. I'd like to have more, but just given the circumstances, um, what what's happening around here right now, I don't um, have very many. We went grocery shopping like two weeks ago and got a big haul, um, but I'm lacking on fresh fruits and veggies, um, so I have to kind of make do with what I have. Even though I'm very limited to fruits and vegetables right now, um, I'm not going to let that affect you know me trying to get back on track. I'm not going to let that you know, kind of be an excuse because I still have food I can eat, um, but I just don't have as many fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, I usually have way more, but that's okay. So I don't know if you can see this, but I have three quarters of a cup of light cottage cheese for three points. I have three of these nan breads or nan dippers that I found for three points, um, some tzatziki for one, and then a random crab leg. I know it's processed, but I love them. So all together, lunch is eight points. Um, let's bring you back up here. Uh, I was gonna spend like six or seven, but you know what, I'm a little bit hungry, so um, that's what I'm gonna eat. I'm drinking my water. I match my water bottle. After I'm done lunch, I'll be sitting at 15 points. Um, I scratched myself, uh, so that's why I'm bleeding. But anyways, I'm going to eat lunch and then we'll see you guys back for dinner time. Right, guys it is snack time I made my all-time favorite if you guys have been watching me for a while this is like one of my go-to snacks at night I usually have nutritional yeast on mine but I didn't today I usually also just use kernels and pop them that way to save on points for butter but for the life of me I couldn't find kernels um, downtown because apparently that's the next best thing to toilet paper um, but anyways like I just didn't understand why people would need popcorn kernels like there was like literally nothing in town 
Um, so I was buying the um, Smart Pop, just the popable bags, and this one's light butter. The whole bag is seven points, um, so I figured, you know what? I'm gonna have that because there's a little bit of butter in it, just a little bit more flavor, um, and I can eat this whole bowl, and I just love popcorn. That's how much I love popcorn. But anyways, I just have a little bit of my spray, like olive oil on here with some dill pickle seasoning and some cheddar seasoning. I know that's weird, but that's a combination that I quite enjoy. So this is seven points. If you were on purple, you could use just air pop popcorn, and that would be zero points, but this is seven points to put me at 30 out of 30 points. And then I am having a fruit cup. This one is a mandarin orange. Um, there is no sugar added. So essentially it uses water and like stevia or Splenda or whatever. So zero points for that. I'm working on my water and I also have um, some crystal light in here. I think this one's like the iced tea one. I really like this one. But because it's so big, I have like two packets in there. I tried it with just one and it was just, it didn't taste like anything. So anyways, that puts me at 30 out of 30 points. I'm very happy and glad that I was able to stay on track. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sometimes it's hard in situations to keep on track, but if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Um, I'm just hoping that I can keep up with this. And honestly, coming on here, keeps me accountable. Um, I know that you guys are watching me and I know that I have to come on here and let you guys know what I'm eating. So that kind of steers me away from food sometimes, if that makes sense. Um, but anyways, let me know down below if you guys wanna see any other videos. I am home, I'm laid off for probably another two weeks at least. I really don't know what I'm going back to work. So I don't even know if it's just two weeks, but if you guys wanna see anything, let me know down below. I wanna do a couple cook with me's, but honestly, it's been hard to find like groceries um, that I need for recipes. I've been wanting to do a favorites video for a while, um, and I was actually gonna do it like the end of this month, and then this whole thing started, so. I hope everybody is staying safe and doing well. Um, a lot's going on right now, but we can push through this and we can still reach our goals. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.